Hey you guys, my name is Brittany Braden. Thank you so much for practicing with me. So today's class is a great one to do either first thing in the morning or any time during the day you need a break or a warm up before a workout. So all you need is your mat and let's get to it. So we're gonna start off at the top of our mat today. Plant your feet about hip distance apart. Bring your shoulders or your arms down to the floor. No. Hey you guys, my name is Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for practicing with me. So this is gonna be a short kind of warm up sequence. So a good one to do first thing in the morning, anytime you need a break in the day, or also a warm up before a workout. So all you need is a mat and you're good to go. So we're gonna start off at the top of our mat. Plant your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Bring your hands down. And you're gonna roll your shoulders forwards and up towards the ears as you take an inhale, and then roll the shoulders back and down as you exhale. Shoulders forwards and up, back and down. So a couple more times like that. And then go the opposite way. So shoulders back, up, forwards and down. And then reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Right hand's gonna reach for your left wrist. So pull that left arm up. You're gonna lean over to the right and just take your hips over to the left. And then come back to center and take your left hand to the right wrist, reach that right arm up, lean over to the left and take your hips to the right. And then come back to center, take both arms up towards the ceiling, bend your knees and then fold forwards over top of the legs. So just find a rag doll with the knees bent, add a little sway, relax around the ears, jaw. And then bend your knees a lot and take a big step back with your right leg. Set your right knee down to the floor and just reach both arms up towards the ceiling. So coming into a low lunge, then take that right arm forwards, left arm back. Come back to center, reach both arms up. Set the hands down, tuck the back toes under, pick up your back knee. So as you straighten both legs, you're gonna lift the hips up and back, stay high on the ball of that back foot. And then come back into the lunge, bend on the front leg. Push off your back foot and step to the top of the mat. Fingertips or shins lift up halfway. Fold down, step back with your left leg now. Set your left knee down to the floor. Low lunge, reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Take your left arm forwards, reach your right arm back. Come back to center, both arms reach up. Set your hands to the floor. Pick up your back knee, straighten both legs and fold forwards. And then come to the lunge, bend in the front leg. Push off your back foot, step to the top of the mat. Fingertips to shins, lift up halfway. Set the hands down, step back with the right leg. Set the right knee to the floor, low lunge, both arms sweep up. Take your right arm forwards, left arm back. This time, left hand to the low back, fingers face down, right arm up, and just start to lean back. Then bring both hands down, framing your left foot. Pick up your back knee, hips up and back, straighten the front leg and fold. And then come into that lunge, push off the back foot, step to the top of the mat. Fingertips to shins, halfway lift. Fold into the leg, step back with your left leg. Set your left knee to the floor, low lunge, both arms sweep up. Right arm reaches back, left arm forward. Take your right hand to the low back, fingers face down, left arm up. So as you lift, then just start to lean back. Bring both hands down and frame your right foot. Pick up the back knee, straighten the legs as you fold forwards. Lunge, bend in the front leg. Push off your back foot, step to the top of the mat. Fingertips to shins, lift up halfway. Fold down, step back with your right leg. Set the right knee to the floor, low lunge, both arms reach up. Right arm reaches forwards, left arm back, chest to the left. Left hand to the low back, or maybe you hold the back of the hamstring, reach your right arm up, and just start to lean back. Bring both hands down to the frame that left foot. Pick up your back knee, hips go up and back. Now this time come into a lunge, easy twist. You're going to reach that left arm up towards the ceiling, let that top arm fall back a bit. Set your hand down, push off that back foot, step to the top of the mat. Fingertips or shins, lift up halfway. Fold down, step back with your left leg. Set your left knee to the floor, low lunge, both arms sweep up. Left arm forwards, right arm back. Right hand to the low back or finds the back of the hamstring, left arm up, lift first and then lean back. Bring your hands down to frame that right foot, pick up the back knee, hips go up and back, fold into that front leg. And then easy twist, so bend into the front leg, keep that back knee up, reach that right arm up to the ceiling, let that top arm fall back. And then set the hand down, step forwards, top of the mat. Fingertips or shins lift up halfway. Fold down, bend the knees, press down through the heels, lower the hips down and come into chair. So get a little bit lower. 
Keep the chest lifted. And then fold forwards into the legs. Take a halfway lift. Bend the knees, step back with the right leg. Set the right knee to the floor, low lunge, both arms sweep up. Right arm come forwards, left arm back. Left hand to the back, maybe the hamstring, right arm up, lean back. Bring your hands down to frame the left foot. Tuck your back toes under, pick up the back knee. Fold folds in that front leg, option to flex your left foot this time. And then lunge, and an easy twist. Take that left arm up towards the ceiling. Set your hand down to the inside of your left foot. You're gonna walk over to the right side. Turn your right foot out slightly, bend into the right leg, skandas, and then turn the left toes up towards the ceiling. And then shift over to the other side. Pivot the face of front, turn on the ball of the back foot, step forwards, top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, fold into the legs, bend the knees, come in a chair, lower the hips down, hands in prayer, or you can reach your arms forwards and then maybe slightly up. And then fold into the legs. Take a halfway lift, bend your knees, step back with the left leg. Set your left knee down, low lunge, both arms sweep up. Left arm comes forwards, right arm back. Take the right hand to the low back or back of the hamstring, left arm up. Start to lean back. Hands come down to frame that right foot, pick up the back knee. Hips up and back, stay high in the ball of that left foot, long pyramid pose, flex that right foot. And then lunge, bend in the front leg, easy twist, right arm up towards the ceiling. Set your hand down to the inside of the right foot. You're gonna walk yourself to the left. Skandasana, so turn the left foot out, bend in the left leg, right toes face the ceiling. And then shift over to the other side. Pivot on the ball of the back foot. You're turning to face the front. Step forward to the top of the mat. Fingertips to shins. Lift up halfway. Fold down. Bend your knees. Come into chair. Whatever arm variation you like. Find that adduction with the inner thighs, meaning hug the inner thighs together. Take a breath in. Exhale. Fold forwards. Halfway lift. Step back with the right leg. Right knee to the floor, low lunge, both arms sweep up. Last round, right arm forwards, left arm back. Left hand to the low back or behind the leg, right arm up. Just start to lean back. Hands come down and frame that left foot. Long pyramid pose, hips up and back, flex that left foot. And then bend into the front leg, easy twist, left arm reaches up. Set the hand down to the inside of the foot. Walk yourself over to the right side. Skandasana, bending into the right leg. And then Skandasana, shift over to the left. Pivot the face of front. Set the hands down. Turn on the ball of that back foot. This time, step back, downward dog. Roll forwards, come into plank. So shoulders over top of the wrists. Lower yourself all the way down onto the ground. Untuck the toes, press the tops of the feet on the floor, interlace the hands behind the back of the head, elbows wide. Start to lift the elbows up, keep the feet on the floor, lift the head, lift the chest up without pushing your chin forwards, and then lower back down. And then lift yourself back up, and then lower down. Couple more, activate through your posterior chain. Next time you lift, stay there. Then lower down, place the hands beside your lower rib cage. Tuck your toes under, press yourself up, table or plank, downward dog. Heels lift, bend the knees, make your way to the top of the mat. Fingertips to shins, lift up halfway. Fold down, step back with your left leg. Set your left knee to the floor, both arms sweep up. Take your left arm forwards, right arm back. Then right hand to the low back or behind the hamstring, reach that left arm up and then lean back. Both hands come down to frame the right foot. Pick up that back knee, hips go back, straighten the leg and fold, flex that right foot. Easy twist, bend in the front leg, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Set your hand down to the inside of that right foot, walk over to the left skandasana, so turn the left foot out, right toes face the ceiling, lower the hips. And then shift over to the right. And then pivot to face the front, set the hands down, step back, downward dog. Coming forwards in a plank. And then lower yourself all the way down onto the ground. Untuck the toes, tops of you pressing the mat, hands behind the back of the head, elbows wide. Lift the elbows off the floor, lift the head, lift the chest. And then lower down. 
keep going. Next time you lift up, pause. And then lower down. Now you're going to flip over onto your backs. Now as you come onto your backs, bend your knees, set the feet down on the mat about hip distance apart, hands on the floor, framing the hips. Feel like you're dragging your heels towards the glutes. So lift the hips up just a little bit. Tuck under with the pelvis slightly to fire up the glutes and hamstrings. Keep those on as you lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And then lower the hips down to a hover. And then lift the hips back up. And then lower down. So you do a couple more glute bridge lifts on your own. Just be very mindful that your back's not what kicks on and takes over the work. Make sure it's the glutes and the hamstrings bringing those hips into extension. For three, two, one more, and then lower down onto your backs. Now take the feet off the ground. So knees over top of the hips, shins parallel-ish parallel to the ceiling. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling. So the palm of the hands face one another. Wrists track right over top of the shoulders. And I want you to envision like you're pulling your frontal hip bones in towards one another. So you're anchoring the pelvis into the ground. Now hinge from that left hip, lower your left heel to a hover, and you're gonna reach out right arm back and hover your right thumb, and then come back to where you started. Now hinge from the right hip, lower your right heel to a hover, reach your left arm back, and then come back to where you started. So you do a couple more on your own. You can do this with straight legs if you'd like. Just be very mindful that you're not letting that rib cage spill out. Keeping that pelvis anchored to the floor. Couple more rounds. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Set your feet down on the mat, take your arms out into a T-shape, and then let your knees rock side to side. And then bring both knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around the shins, give yourself a nice big hug, and then let it go. Take the legs long out on the floor, come down onto the mat. So if you'd like, you can spend a couple minutes here in stillness before you go into whatever else you're doing. Maybe you're getting ready for your workout and you can just pop right up. But I just wanna say thank you so much for joining me today. Always be humble, be kind. Thank you and namaste. Mm.